The End Is Nigh is the latest release by indie darlin' Ed McMillan. The game was released on Steam a couple months ago, but it's making its console debut on the Switch in December. The game's publisher, Nicholas Inc., was kind enough to send us an early copy of the game for review purposes. Now I need to put my cards on the table. I'm a huge McMillan fan. I've been following his work since I found him on Newgrounds, and I've purchased Super Meat Boy, Binding of Isaac, and the Basement Collection on their first days of release. So naturally, I have huge expectations for The End Is Nigh. There hasn't been that much buzz around the game, which I find a little bit strange. This might be because they had a short time between the announcement and the release, probably because Edmund wanted to avoid another MeJX fiasco. So, does the end of Nye surpass Edmund's previous work, or should people pass on it? This is Push Dustin from Source Gaming, and let's get started with this review. The End is Nye starts with the main character Ash streaming his favorite game, The End is Nye. Once the player fails at the game, the game cart will break, causing Ash to freak out. He decides to go look for a friend and to restore his favorite game. However, Ash is the only being alive in his world, so he must traverse dangerous obstacles to build a friend. Each area is themed and contains its own music. For the first world, the end, players will need to jump on collapsing buildings, while the second world, players will need to jump on trampolines and enemies in order to gain height. The end is nigh is a little bit light on its narrative. The skeletons or the monsters that Ash can speak to in the game don't really add to the narrative, but instead usually provide hints, or in some places actually distract Ash so enemies can kill him. While the end is nigh is a little bit light on story content, the main appeal of the game is of course, its gameplay. The end is nigh is a hard as nails 2D platforming game. It's a bit like Super Meat Boy where players will need to avoid enemy spikes and whatever the game throws at the player. Unlike Super Meat Boy, there's a world in The End Is Nigh. Levels connect with each other and players will not only try to reach the end of the screen, but advance to the end of the area. Probably the best example of this is in the area called The Machine, where players will need to often backtrack to explore new areas. There are also secret screens which can reward the player with game tarts or tumors. Yes, tumors. In most of the screens, Ash can pick up tumors, which at the first are a seemingly irrelevant collectible. Without ruining the story twist, players will need a lot of them for the second half of the game as they will act as lives. The End of Knives strikes a great balance between the throw yourself at the obstacle until you complete the level style of Super Meat Boy and require actual planning and patience to complete a level. Another noteworthy fact of The End is Nigh is that there is no RNG in the game. Upon death, the screen will set. This makes it a great game to speedrun and to learn as the enemies will always be predictable. As mentioned before, the game also features several game cards which can be collected through the areas. These game cards will reward skilled players with extra tumors and provide even more challenge. The End is Nigh is a very difficult but rewarding game. I was overwhelmed with the excitement whenever I complete a particularly tough challenge. The addition of tumors, which much like bandages in Super Meat Boy adds additional platformer challenge into the game. However, with The End is Nigh, I feel like there is even more challenge and content than Super Meat Boy. The End is Nigh took me about 5 or 6 hours to complete the first part of the game. As of writing this review, I haven't completed the second part, but I expect that I'll spend another 5 or 6 hours of completing additional tumors and completing the second part of the game. Lastly, let me briefly discuss the controls of the game. Just like Super Meat Boy, The End is Nigh is, has extremely tight controls. The game slowly introduces new mechanics over the course of the areas. There isn't a lot, Ash isn't as versatile as his predecessors, but the skill he does have are put to extremely good use. With Super Meat Boy, players had access to a wide range of characters with different abilities. However, with The End is Nigh, players only have Ash. This means that everything is designed around him, which makes for a tighter experience in my opinion. In addition, the retro style game cards have the same controls as the normal game levels, which means practicing in the normal levels will help players get good in the retro levels and vice versa. So we discussed how great the gameplay is, let's go ahead and talk about the presentation of the game. The End is Night is a great looking and sounding game whether the Switch is docked or in portable mode. There doesn't seem to be any dips in frame rate while playing the game. The soundtracks are remixes of classical music and sound fantastic. There are a couple sound effects that I just didn't like so I would temporarily mute the game during those screens but for the majority of the game, I kept the sound on. The game doesn't feature a lot of options. For the short video clips, there isn't even a closed caption, which is a little bit disappointing. Players can create up to three save files, and the game autosaves really quickly. The game also loads extremely fast. When dying, players won't have to wait long until they are back into the action, and that makes the end of night extremely addictive. There are also some areas where it's difficult to fully tell where players can safely stand, or obstacles that will blend in with some backgrounds. These issues tend to be with a few select screens. So. How does that up? Let's go ahead and tally the score. All in all, The End is Nigh is another fantastic addition to the Hard as Nails platform and genre. If you enjoyed Super Meat Boy, you will definitely love The End is Nigh. Players looking for a challenging game or for fans of Edmund's work should definitely pick up this game.
I give The End Is Nigh a 4.75 out of 5. Thanks so much for listening to this review. If you pick up this game, let us know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like and remember to subscribe to see more content straight from the source. Check out the description for all the social media links. This is Push Dustin from Source Gaming signing off.